What is going on, Brotherhood? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking about all my wants from San Diego Comic Con 2018. We had some great WWE figure reveals throughout the weekend. I wanted to wait until the weekend was completely over before I made a video about it. I know most of the stuff got revealed on days one and two, and then after that it was really quiet, but I just wanted to be sure because in previous years we've had reveals as late as the last day. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit late jumping onto this bandwagon of making these videos, but I still wanted to do it anyways and give you guys my opinion on these figures. So let's go ahead and get right into this first figures I've got to talk about are the epic moments undisputed era this set looks absolutely amazing we got Adam Cole's first figure Bobby Fish Kyle O'Reilly their first releases as well all in elites they got those awesome cloth t-shirts just very excited for this set I know a lot of people have been waiting for this so it's definitely probably the top of my list for wants up next, we've got to talk about Roderick Strong, of course, the fourth member of Undisputed Era now. Mostly, I'm excited to get this one for the head to swap onto my TakeOver New Orleans attire for when he joined the Undisputed Era, but overall, it does look like a great figure on its own. I might even have to pick up two to have the original one and then to put the head onto a custom, but yes, I do love this Roderick Strong figure. Great to have all four members of the Undisputed Era coming soon to our collections. Up next, we do have Hideo Itami, and I think it's quite overdue for him to get an Elite. It does have this rubber coat, which is a little bit disappointing. It would have been nice to get a cloth one, and I'm not exactly sold on the head scan. I do like his first head scan better, but other than that, it seems like it's going to be a decent figure. We can't really see it without the robe, but yeah, I'm definitely excited about this one. Great to have Hideo Itami in Elite form. We have gotten basics of him in the past, but yeah, this one will probably be a pickup for me. Up next, we do have the Authors of Pain, Akam and Rosar, with the NXT tag titles and their entrance masks. I believe these guys are coming in Elite Series 62. It's already up for pre-order over at Ringside. If you want to use the discount code UNDISPUTED, you can save 10% at checkout there. Cheap plug out of the way, but overall, I'm very excited for these figures. I know we did get the basics of them in the NXT line. I didn't pick them up because, honestly, I did not like the figures. I didn't think they looked good, but these Elites look absolutely amazing. Great attire, great accessories. Definite pickup for me. Up next, we do have Drew McIntyre and what will be his first release since returning to the company. This figure looks pretty good. I'm not entirely sold on the head scan, and I'm not too thrilled that we're getting a rubber coat. But otherwise, the tire does look all right from what we can see. It's a bit hard to tell, but overall, I think this has definitely got to be a pickup for me. His first Elite since coming back, and we should definitely be getting a lot more from him since he's now on the main roster. Here we do have Alistair Black, and oh my god, I am so excited for this thing. Head scan looks spot on, the tattoos look amazing, very nice entrance vest. Just overall, this figure is a must-have Alistair Black's first time in the line. You know I've got to get this figure, guys. Up next, we've got the Fashion Police coming up in the next Elite set, Elite Series 61. Very excited to get these guys in my collection. Great to have updated Elites of them. We did recently get that Battle Pack, but you know Elites are so much better, especially with those cloth shirts. Very excited to get the Fashion Police, Tyler Breeze, and Fondango. Up next, we do have Andrade Cien Almas. Very excited about this one. I think the head scan's spot on. Great to have that updated NXT title again. And I think the attire is okay. I would have preferred them to maybe do his red and green attire. But overall, I think it's pretty decent. Definitely going to have to pick up Andrade Cien Almas. Up next, we do have Sanity. I am very excited for Killian Dane, Alexander Wolf, and Eric Young. I think all three figures look absolutely amazing, especially Killian Dane, but that might just be because we actually got to see the figure rather than just images. But overall, I think all three of them are amazing, and I'm very excited to have Sanity coming into my collection. This one I am very excited about, right up there with Aleister Black and the Undisputed Era. We do have Pete Dunne. I think the head looks spot on on this figure. I'm just so excited to have the bruiser weight in my collection. Very excited for that. I know the Tyler Bate figure was absolutely amazing. So uh, hopefully we do get the UK title with this guy as well. But uh, overall, I'm just so excited to get another release from the UK division, and especially since it's the bruiser weight. Up next, we do have the WrestleMania Elite AJ Styles. I think this attire is very clean looking. I don't know why we still haven't gotten knee pads on AJ or gotten the correct elbow pad. Very disappointing. But uh, overall, it's a very nice looking attire with this silver sort of color with the black and then the light blue. So yeah, I'm very excited for this AJ Styles Elite. Up next, we have the LGBTQ Finn Balor attire from WrestleMania. Very nice looking figure. I've picked up all of Balor's Elite so far, so I'd rather not lose the streak right here. And it's very nice to have his second unpainted attire. So yeah, this Finn Balor is a definite must pick up for me. Up next, we do have this Royal Rumble Flame Attire Seth Rollins. You guys know I've got to pick this thing up. Hopefully, we do get a new head scan with it, but Seth is my favorite superstar, so you know I'm going to have to grab this one. But yeah, this figure does look very, very nice. I'm not the hugest fan of this attire. It's certainly not my favorite of his, but it's a definite must-pick up for me. 
Up next, we do have this Entrance Greats Elias. From what I do understand, this is going to be the last of the Entrance Greats line. They're already getting rid of it. That is a little bit disappointing, but overall, I think this figure looks great. I love the white attire. I think it is much better than his Elite 60 figure. Great that we're getting another guitar. Obviously, it's Elias. He has to have his guitar. But this time, we are getting his stool that he sits on whenever he plays the guitar. So I'd much rather have that than the scarf like we got with Elite 60. And overall, I just like this figure a lot more. Hopefully, we do get an updated head scan with this one or just a newer one in general. But yes, I very much do like this Elias figure. Next, we do have this Kurt Hawkins figure, which we knew was coming for a long time now. I think they revealed it back at, like, WrestleMania Access or something like that. But we are getting a Chase variant in black. It's going to be the first Chase variant. We've got two of those to announce here. Uh, but, yeah, I'm very excited about this. I think, personally, the blue one is the one that I do prefer. But, overall, I'd be happy to get either one. But, yeah, it's going to be great to have Kurt Hawkins in your collection so you can have uh, someone to lose to everybody else. Up next, we do have the other Chase figure, and that is Shelton Benjamin. We've got his current look, and then the Chase version in the gold standard look. Personally, I'm probably going to go for the current one just because I'm more of a current collector, but uh, overall, I think both figures are amazing, and I'm very excited to have Shelton Benjamin in the collection. Up next, we do have the updated Harper and Rowan Bludgeon Brothers figures. Very nice looking figures. I think both of them do come with their hammers and some sort of an entrance robe, but I'm very excited for both of them. Great to have updated Luke Harper and Eric Rowan in the collection. Hopefully, we do get an updated head scan on both of them as well. But yes, I'm very excited to have the Bludgeon Brothers. Here we do have some sort of a mower of lawn... Hardy Boy Compound Ultimate Deletion Match set. I'm assuming this is going to be an Epic Moments, and there's also going to be Bray and Matt figures, but this is kind of intriguing. I think it's still very early in the works, but I'm definitely interested to see where Mattel takes this. And finally, I do want to go quickly through some of these grayed out prototype figures that we've seen that I am excited for. First of all, we got Velveteen Dream. This one looks absolutely amazing. It's very exciting that we're getting him so early on. And I'm wondering what attire exactly we're going to get because he's had so many amazing attires so far in his career. Next up, we got Cedric Alexander with the Cruiserweight title. Cedric, definitely one of the top Cruiserweights right now, so it's great to have him to update our 205 live rosters. We're also getting a Daniel Bryan, I believe, in his WrestleMania attire, so that'll be a must-pick for me. Daniel Bryan, uh, of course, I was there for WrestleMania, and I did meet him that day, so that's going to be very cool. I might have to get one and keep it mock as well. And then finally, the one I've been asking for for so long, Mustafa Ali in his Sub-Zero attire. I am so excited. Probably my favorite attire in all of wrestling right now. I actually tweeted this at Mustafa Ali a while ago, and he retweeted it, and Bill replied to it, so I don't know. I'm not going to take credit for it, but maybe, you know, I did have something to do with it just to, you know, please my ego a little bit but yes uh this mustafa ali figure is going to be absolutely amazing so that is pretty much all the figures i'm excited for let me know in the comments below what figures you're excited for if you agree with this list or if there's some that you think i should have included on the list or uh, that you're more excited for but anyways that's going to do it for the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy turn on notifications to never miss a new video and until then i will see you guys in the next one